What's up everybody? It's Christy Bentliff and you are tuning in to another segment of Motoring Motivations. Now you know the drill by now. It's just me, my mini, some awesome music in the background and I'm going to be talking to you about some things that motivate and inspire me that I hope will do the same for you. So today what I wanted to talk to you about is stretching your money. We all work and get our paycheck, and from that paycheck, we have to pay our bills, of course. And then what's left over, if we're fortunate to have left over, we have to use for um, sp um, splurges on ourselves, or things to make our house nice, or if we're into car mods, modding our car, or minis things of that nature. So I always get a lot of feedback, well, it's, it must be nice to have all the things that you have and be able to afford it. So let me give you a clue. I am the ultimate thrifter and I am not ashamed to say that I am. I love going to the Habitat for Humanity stores. I love Craigslist. I love eBay. I love um, the Goodwills anything like that that I can find a bargain and I've lived in my area for over 12 years now so I know the stores to I know where these stores are to find the deals that are you know in really good shape and I'm not afraid to to buy them because I look at it this way one one person's trash is another person's treasure although it's not trash that I'm buying but you get what I'm saying there um, and that's how I have the things I have I have lived in North Carolina for most of my life I did a move for a couple of years up into New England and I sold everything I had to move up there and start a new life well how did I get started again I had to replenish and build the house again and that and I did the exact same thing I'm telling you I, I went to the thrift shops and things of that nature to build to build upon a new life and then um, after a couple of years we ended up moving down back down south and the cost to move was too much so we liquidated again we came back here we started again um, every time I do it I become wiser in my shopping habits um, I know where to look for the deals and I've almost created like um, a scavenger hunt. I've made it fun for me and I'm proud of it. Every time I, you know, I have been in situations where I've bought retail when you're young and you're starting out and you think that's, you know, I've got to do that. That's part of the status quo. But as I'm older and getting older, I want to make sure that, you know, my money goes as far as it can, it can but that it affords me to have a comfortable life and nice things um, because that's what I work for. So don't be afraid to go out there and check out the restores and the Habitat to, uh, for Humanity stores and the Goodwills and Craigslist and eBay and all those things because you can find good things. Right now, our current project is we are um, doing a DIY on a master bath and I have found all my uh, travertine tiles at the restore shop. So, um, when I get a tile that's, let's say, six cents compared to one that would be five dollars in your big box store, heck yeah, I feel great about that. And I'm going to love and appreciate that bathroom even more so when it gets, you know, completed because I found it at a deal and I have made it much nicer um, with what I could afford on a budget than probably what I would have afforded paying retail. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. How I have all these nice things is because I am, as I said, the ultimate thrifter. And I have friends that are in my circle that do the same. And so we share, you know, well, if you go here, you'll find this. If you go here, you'll find that. So don't be afraid to do it. It's actually kind of fun, you know, getting those things and realizing how much money you saved and how much um, nice things you're getting at, to add to your home or clothes or whatever it is. Or in our case, we do the same with our minis. Let me just throw that in there. Um, we buy used parts if, you know, somebody's, you know, selling their mini and they've got things to uh, sell. Uh, we uh, look on eBay, both the United States eBay and the UK side. We find the mods at a deal, and that's how we're able to uh, make the minis unique to our personalities. So, I hope that helps in some way. Um, stay tuned. I'll have some other segments coming along the way, and um, take care.
and enjoy the rest of your day.